Good afternoon, Colorado. Welcome to our Friday edition of What's for Lunch. I'm your host, Larry Hurst, and today in studio, all the way from Thornton, Colorado, I have Gabriel with Bop Kitchen. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, thank you. You don't say welcome? <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, thank we'll you. We'll cut that out. Wait. Take two. Let's start this again. We'll edit that out. Don't worry. Come on over. Don't all be right. shy. All right. Uh, give me a little history of you and Bop Kitchen. So I am. I was born in Korea. I came when I was nine years old, and uh, our family had some restaurants in Colorado, and I had fell in with fell in love with the food. And but my dad said I wanted to go to culinary school, and he said no way. I brought you to America to go to college and get a great education. So I did that. I went to college, did my finance stuff, and made some money. And but about eight years ago, I didn't. I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy doing, you know, I felt like I was begging people, you know, yeah. for to invest with me and do stuff with me. And I was like, no, I'm done. I love food. I decided, you know what, I'm going to start cooking. So I went and worked for a few restaurants, worked for a tag restaurant group for a little bit as a GM. And it was fun, but it was for me to leave. And I decided to go on my own and then did some catering, did some private tutor, um, private chef stuff. And then, uh, Opportunity came up about six months ago uh, in Thornton, actually across the street from where I live. Okay. Uh, a restaurant that was there for less than a year. What's the address? Uh, it's 5880 East 128th Avenue in Thornton, Colorado. Okay. Uh, it's in the residential area, but it's a beautiful. Thornton is growing like crazy. It is awesome in that area. So we are. And you don't have a lot of competition, though, we don't, restaurant wise. Yes, we don't have a lot <laughs> of competitions. We do have a few Chinese restaurants, but hey. I'm pretty sure my food is so much better. So, how would you describe the concept of your restaurant? My concept is Asian inspired. I'm not 100. percent I am Korean. Uh, I love Korean food, but I'm not. I, I wanted to show people different types of food, what the flavors out there in the Asian, you know, Asian countries. So, mine is not 100 percent Korean. So, a lot of it is Asian inspired. Okay. So. Let's start off with drinks because I'm thirsty and it's Friday. So that one is actually called Crazy Korean. It's actually named after me, and I actually put it together. Okay. Uh, it's made with a whiskey, bullet whiskey, and uh, there's a syrup that comes from Korea. It's uh, it's called Meshil, and it's a syrup you can only get uh, from Korean market, and so it has that in it. So it's it's kind of, and also it's a little bit spicy because it is okay. muddled with uh, jalapenos. That one might be for you to drink. And this one here. So that one is called Live Laugh Lavender. It's uh, with, made with gin with uh, some little lavender syrup. It's a very refreshing summer drink. All right. I'll drink this one. You drink that All one. Right. Cheers. Pleasure to meet you. Nice meeting you, sir. Oops, sorry. Yeah, that's awesome. Delightfully. Whoa. Hold on a second. <laughs> that's amazing. You know, I've gotten a lot of DMs from people. Have you tried Bob Kitchen? Go, go to Bob Kitchen. So the buzz is out there about you for sure. Thank you. And now I know why. I mean, food looks amazing. You can't believe how good it smells in here. Let's start with this one right here. So that one is actually called Japche. Japche is actually the noodle. It's made out of sweet potato noodles. Wow. And actually, it's one of the celebration noodles in Korea. So any celebration, you, you go to Korea, any like birthday parties, or weddings and stuff, that is actually part of the, one of the main dishes in Korea. So if you go to anywhere and if you don't see japchae, it's not really a celebration. Is it gluten free? It is actually gluten free. Ah, I thought it might be. Might have to bring some of that home to the missus. And uh, in case you guys didn't know, he didn't know. It's National Chicken Wing Day, so Ooh. it was nice of him to bring me chicken wings. Yes, I didn't know. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad I brought a couple of different type of wings. So that one is actually only recipe in my restaurant that is not gluten free. Okay. Uh, the reason is uh, it uses a dark soy sauce, uh, and that one's inspired. I love traveling uh, around the country. Uh, that one is from a restaurant in San Francisco called Santang. I went and tried it, and there's line out the door. I was wondering why, so we decided to go in and try it. We waited a very long time, <laughs> over an hour to get to that, and tried it, and decided to try to copy it, and that's... And everybody you, said it's amazing. You so. think it came close to what you it had is there? It is close. I'm not going to get... I, to me, I wanted to make my own. Okay. My own flavor, but it is very close. So this is our fried pot stickers. This is actually the most popular dish in our nice restaurant. Uh, to the point we actually had some guests walk out on me because we didn't have any pot stickers left over. Uh, left. Uh, it is handmade. Every one of them is handmade. Uh, 
and so homemade we steam it and then we fry it so we the sauce is another sauce that is amazing so let's show them that sauce and i'm gonna take you over to see it what's in the sauce sauce is a soy sauce base with some korean chili flakes some sesame seeds and sesame oil that was hard not to eat that pot stick after i broke it open i don't do well at eating and talking it's not good so that's our house-made kimchi uh, I don't know if you guys know, kimchi is one of the three superfoods in the world. Uh, but a lot of it, majority of kimchi in the world has is not vegan. Ours is 100% uh, vegan uh, and it is gluten free. So if you said there's three, I'm guessing quinoa is another one? Uh, it's actually red lentils is one of them. Quinoa is not? I believe it's not. I don't know the other one. I, I think quinoa is. Is it part of one? We're yeah. saying it is. Okay, we'd say it is. Don't argue with the host. Yes, I would <laughs> try not to. So that, yeah. so that one is uh, Korean inspired. That one is uh, gochujang based. I don't know if you ever had gochujang. It's a Korean, uh, like a hot sauce made out of sweet rice. I always call it guachujang and people destroy me, <laughs> which is fun. I, like, a, I yeah. like it. I mean, I'm like, hey, everybody has their own <laughs> pronunciation. Every, it, you know, so that one is a little sweet and also has a spice to it. So a little kick to it. Not as much, but yes. Oh boy. So this is our pork kimchi fried rice. Uh, uses uh, you know our kimchi house made kimchi uh, with also our spicy pork. It's one of the you know main staple Korean fried dishes in Korea. So it's a very comforting food if you were to be in Korea. If you want comfort food, that's one of the comfort foods in Korea. So, so. I'm eating good today. I'm gonna have a little bit of everything. Uh, what are your hours? So we are open from 11 o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock on weekdays and 11 o'clock on weekend, uh, weekends. Seven days a week? So, so no, we are actually open six days a week. We are closed on Mondays. Okay. The reason we close on Mondays, I wanted to give our staff a day off also, but we also do a lot of community outreach. One of the things that we like to do is do some community outreach. I Thorne, saw that on your website. Yeah. Was, yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, Thornton has given me a lot. It's actually, the state of Colorado has given me a lot. Why not give it back? So some of the things we do is we also cook for homeless. We like to teach people. So we'll bring in people to have food with us. We'll teach them how to make certain things. Uh, so that's my, you know, that's my passion. Well, that's one of my passions. I do love to give back to other people. So. so most people don't realize that OCN stands for our community now. Oh, so we're all, that's what we're all about here is community. Okay. And that's what this show yes. started on was, you know, we st thought all these restaurants were going to go out of business during the pandemic. So we're like, let's start this show and try and help. Oh, that's awesome. And that's why I only use, you know, support local businesses. Yes. Uh, you got a happy hour? Yes, we do. From two to five o'clock every single day, actually. So you could come in and enjoy. Yeah. We do have a... Uh, Taco Tuesdays. We do have. We actually have Korean tacos on our menu, yeah, so good. it is amazing. One of uh, our our guest favorites, and we also have some. Uh, we do have a variety of meals. You know, we do have a lot of vegan options. Uh, my son became a vegan, so I was like, you know what? I want to create a vegan. There's a lot of health buzz right now with the vegan food, and also gluten free options. So everything except this is gluten free option. So. Enjoy. Well, you know I'm having this. There's no way I wasn't going to have that after the build-up. Mashkitu sale. What he said. <laughs> uh, what's your website? Well, yeah, it's popkitchen.com. All right. What does bop mean? Bop means food in Korean. Okay. So it's a food kitchen. Uh, so come enjoy. Uh, it's a bop kitchen. It's amazing. We had some great staff. People, you know, will serve you, you know, whatever you need. You, you ask us, we'll take care of you. So. All right. Go out and get some chicken wings. I think you should probably go up to Thornton and get some of these. And that's my little trick there. You just pull that bone out, and then now it's nice and easy to eat. Everybody have a great weekend. We'll be back at this again next week. Let's eat! And that's how you do it. That's so good. Thank you, sir. <laughs>